Welcome! Today we're going to be talking about the biggest release of the year for us, which is Doom Bloom. Yeah! It's our once a year triple IPA that we make for Beer Week. Super excited to be here talking about it. This beer was inspired by the journey up this hill to gather cactus fruit for this beer. The ring bearer is setting out on the quest of Mount Doom. Very treacherous, very spiky. I don't know if you've ever gotten cactus in your fingers, the, the thorns, they hurt. You have to burn off the thorns off the actual fruit. Freaking helicopter. Let's give the beer a taste. Oh man, the smell is just so intensely hoppy. What makes this beer special? We don't actually often make triple IPAs, but when we do, we go all out. This beer has more hops than any other beer we've ever made, but what we found out is our fermenters can only hold so many hops. We actually make this beer in two different tanks so that we can add twice the amount of hops and then we blend the two beers back together in the bright tank. Even though technically this is almost three times as much beer as we brew in a normal, oh man. <laughs> Let's talk about hops. The hops are the star of the show here. This beer is Citra, Mosaic, Amarillo, Strata, and Azaka, plus Cryo of almost all of those. It brings the dry hopping rate something above eight pounds per barrel dry hop, which is just ridiculous. Ooh, it's sticky. This smells like cotton candy cantaloupe, pineapple, like it's got a little bit of green dank notes to it. I don't know if I'm just smelling the flowers out here, but it's so green and so resiny. It's like that cotton candy, as it melts in your mouth, you get this like saccharine, sweet, juicy profile. There's almost no bitterness on it, even though there's a ton of hot side hops in here. That alcohol and the sweetness and the yeast really just smooth it completely out. But there's no like yeast bite, no hop bite. We learned that cryo hops actually help with that. Not really sure what is going on, I think it just helps everything drop out better, but it is one of the smoothest beers I think we've ever made. I don't know, cantaloupe. This is cantaloupe juice to me, and I love that agua fresca, the cantaloupe one. Sun is out. I don't know what's going on in January here in SF, but I love it. February, what day is it? Does it just feel good to be out here? Like, just. The only reason we're able to pack this many hops into this beer is because it is a triple IPA. There's something about the bigger the beer, the bigger the alcohol content, the more hops you can shove in there. Um, and can hold up to it. The, if it was too light of a body, the hops just wouldn't pop. So this beer is big, sweet, sticky, boozy. That alcohol even like helps waft all those aromas into your nose. Throwing this many hops into a beer, it's always a fun adventure. We're always learning, always trying new things. Um, but this beer's stayed the same basic hop bill for five years now. We just struck gold when we made it the first year and it it's kind of turned out amazing ever since. Um, in terms of malt, it's just two-row wheat and oats with a little bit of dextrose to help boost the alcohol. Uh, very simple, but you don't want it to get too sweet using a bunch of specialty malt. So this beer requires a lot of effort to make, more so than our regular IPAs. We tried doing it all in one tank and the hops were above the racking arm. It lets us pull above the stuff that settles out in the fermenter. If we add too many hops though, then the hops rise above that arm and we literally can't get the beer out. So that's why we make it in two tanks which is just double the effort, double the cleaning. Uh, we gotta dry hop two beers. We gotta, you know, we do double and triple dry hop sometimes. Just extra effort for the same volume of beer. But at the end of the day, it's worth it. This reminds us of like year one, year two, Doom Bloom. And I think we've really dialed in this recipe and our hopping technique for something so big. Can't wait for you guys to try it. This is the biggest batch we've ever made. It will sell out, I promise you. It does every year. So shout out to the Hella Jalapeno. Oh my God, that might be my favorite beer we've made. Any Beans is back and it's more coffee than we've ever put in that beer as well. Red Whale, the SF Guild collab beer is one of the coolest beers I think we've ever made. Try it with your eyes closed. You'll never even know that it's red. It's so tropical. Uh, coming out, SF Beer Week is happening. It's the best. It's happening. The best. Tips for homebrewers. You're really going to need a big fermentation vessel for this. So if that means getting a big bucket and a five gallon paint strainer bag, throwing all the hops in there loose so that you can really get them all out just to save your yield or, or else it's going to be a nightmare at bottling or packaging. Otherwise, just make sure you have a big enough mash tun for all the grain you need for this beer. This is a really, really big beer. Uh, it's fun to make, uh, drink it fresh, enjoy with friends. It's an awesome beer. They're just doing this. 
Woo!